All right, y'all. So I do nothing but keep it real. I'm always tell you the truth. I'm not going to sugarcoat and tiptoe around your feelings so that I don't tell you the truth. I'm going to tell you the truth. And one thing I'm going to tell you today is the reason why you're not getting the results that you want or the results that you feel like you deserve is because you're inconsistent as fuck. Like you're inconsistent. It's consistency here. Like if you're not going hard every day, that's why you don't have the results. Like period, point blank. You can't think that if you eat right on Monday, but Tuesday through Saturday, you eat like shit. When you get on the scale on Sunday, you're going to drop five pounds or even two and a half pounds. Like, no, it doesn't work like that. You need to be consistent. A lot of you guys are not consistent, which is why you're not getting the results that you think you deserve. You cannot be upset about the results you didn't get because of the work that you did not do. Like it's, it's, it's that simple. I don't know how else to break it down to you. It's a lifestyle change. Y'all think that y'all can go on these little fad diets, these cleanses, these water diets, whatever the fuck that is. Y'all think y'all can go on these little diets real quick, drop 20 pounds and continue to eat the way you ate before your cleanser, before your diet and not gain the weight back. Like that doesn't even make sense. How does that make sense? It makes absolutely no sense. That's not how life works. This is a lifestyle change. Lifestyle change, okay? Forever, sis, it's forever. <laughs> it's not for two weeks, it's not for 30 days. It is forever, forever, until the day you die. It's forever. So getting in the gym, that's forever. Eating clean, that's forever. Of course you can have days where you rest, especially when you go to the gym, like you have to have rest days. Like one thing I'm not going to do is tell you to work out seven days a week. Like you have to give your body rest. But when it comes to eating right, of course you can have little cheat meals, little cheat snacks, but most of your eating needs to be clean. Like that's just what it is. Or you're going to start to gain the weight back. Now, once you get down to the weight that you want, you can, you know, eat more calories. You've built muscle, so your BMR has increased. But the point that I'm making is you have to be consistent with weight loss, okay? It's a lifestyle change. Stop being inconsistent. Have some discipline. How do you get discipline? By committing to the results. Commit to the results. You, you have to commit to wanting better for yourself you have to commit to that you have to look yourself in the mirror and be like all right i'm changing my life and i'm changing my life for the better yeah it's gonna be difficult it's gonna be hell and most days i'm not gonna want to do this shit but i'm gonna do it anyways because i'm saying on this day this is what's going to happen moving forward that's how you build discipline it doesn't matter how you feel in the morning you have to get up and do that shit okay you have to do it like I don't know how else to get y'all to understand it. You have to do it. There are plenty of days where I would rather just lay in bed and watch Lifetime. But I get my ass up and I go to that gym. I get my ass up and I eat healthy. Of course, you're going to have cravings. Everybody does. But you can't feed into those cravings all the time because then you're not disciplined. You're not, you're not practicing self-control. You're not always going to have motivation, you guys. And I think that's also where people get a little confused. They think that every single day you're going to be super motivated to lose this weight, to get healthy, to, to increase your fitness levels, and you're just going to feel like it all the time. And that's not true, like at all. I think I might have been motivated for the first 30 days of my journey. 30 days. After that, I was like, why the fuck did I sign up for this? I don't even think it was 30 days. I feel like I was really only motivated for about a week because that's when I started to hurt. <laughs> and that's when it started to hurt to sit down on the toilet. That's when the cravings started coming back in. Like, but I, I had committed to the journey. I committed to losing weight. I was sick and tired of being sick and tired. I didn't want to, I didn't want to continue to live my life like that. Okay. And one other thing I can say is you guys stop comparing yourself to other people. It's, it's not about other people and what other people are doing. Don't worry about Susie who lost 20 pounds and you trying to figure out how to lose five. You can't, you got to have tunnel vision, y'all. You got to focus on yourself. You cannot focus on other people. When you stop focusing on other people and focus on yourself, I promise you'll have more energy to have self-control and to be disciplined. A lot of y'all worried about stuff that has nothing to do with bettering your life. 
that's why you don't have the energy to do the stuff that's important because you worried about everything else but yourself get in tune with your energy get in tune with being focused if it's not about bettering you and bettering your family then don't focus on it that's the problem a lot of y'all like i said y'all focus on everything else except for yourself focus on your own goals focus on your own progress let's do that because if you do that you're going to get the results and like i said it's not easy you guys if it was easy nobody would be overweight how can you how can you stay consistent i have some tips for you guys so some of the things that i do to make sure that i eat right most of the time because i'm not perfect no one's perfect most of the time i eat right i would say if i had to rate my eating clean i would say i eat clean about 92 percent of the time but i didn't start off that way when i first started my fitness journey i was probably about 70 percent but it slowly got better as I started to see the results that I was looking for, okay? So some of the things that I do to make sure that I always eat clean, most of the time, not, let me not say always. Some of the things that I do to make sure I eat clean most of the time is I meal prep. I always make sure I meal prep. Or if I'm not meal prepping, whatever I'm gonna eat is, is quick, but it's healthy. So if I'm gonna do like a, a, a chickpea salad sandwich, cause y'all know I'm vegan, so I don't eat, I don't eat animal product. Um, that's really quick to make. I'm going to do a tempeh sandwich. I already have tempeh that's cooked. Stuff like that. I always make sure I have my dairy-free yogurt in the house with some blueberries. So if I'm craving something sweet, I can eat that. And it's full of protein, so it works. Um, those are the things that I do. I also make sure that I don't go anywhere hungry. When you, you are not yourself when you're hungry, okay? I'm going to say that one more time. You are not yourself when you're hungry. When you're hungry, you start to make really bad decisions. Actually... <laughs> your goals just completely go out the window you are fucking hungry your body is hungry so it's easier to mess up when you're hungry so i don't go anywhere hungry when i go to the gym i have my lunchbox packed so that when i get out of the gym i'm super hungry and i can eat my overnight oats or if i pack yogurt or i always make sure i have my protein drink which fills me up as well so those are things that i do if I know I got to go grocery shopping, I don't go hungry. Like I said, you're not yourself when you're hungry. So make sure you eat before you go to the grocery store. Because if you don't, you will be grabbing things that you know are not supposed to be in that cart. Because you're hungry. You're craving food. You're craving sweets or snacks or whatever that's not healthy for you. So that's one big thing that you can do. Another big thing that I did was I stopped hanging around people who don't value fitness and don't make their weight a priority their health a priority you have to change your environment you guys there's no other way to put it now i'm not like if you if if your parents are big i'm not sitting here saying like oh don't talk to your parents anymore that's not what i'm saying at all but you do need to limit the interaction at least until you can really be focused and your journey is no longer new or if you have friends who don't care about that stuff you have to find a new circle like that's just the way it is you're elevating you're 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 not on the same frequency as them they're not there yet i'm not saying they won't ever get there but they're not there yet you're there today you've you've reached it today you're ready to change your life today so you you have to switch up who you're hanging around make some gym friends find some gym buddies people who have the same values as you because you're not, you're not the old person anymore. You're, you're developing, you're, you're turning into a new being. You can't, you can't continue to be in the same environments anymore. Like that's just, that's just the way it is. Another thing that I did was I hired a personal trainer. There's a lot that you don't know with anything. Education is key. You guys, people spend so much money. Hold on. Sorry, there was a truck going by. People spend so much money to go to university, hundreds and thousands of dollars, but you don't want to spend $10 a day to get educated on how to lose weight, how to eat right. That doesn't even make sense. That makes no sense. The gym can be a very, very, very intimidating place, especially if you don't know how to do a lot of movements or you don't really know how to operate a lot of machines. Of course, it's intimidating. But you have to invest in yourself 
it's not a it's not a waste of money. It's it's investing in yourself. You're investing in your future. Just like you do when you pay for education to go to college. You're investing in your future. You're investing in getting better, being your better self. Okay? So I spent a lot of money on personal training. First I started with in person. Then we moved to virtual once I started getting the hang of you know, the movements, like when I first started, he had to show me how to do squats properly, you know, cause I, I wasn't, I was unfamiliar with all of that after a while. So once I got familiar with doing different movements, we moved to virtual. So he would watch me do the exercises, but it was through my phone. Then once I got the hang of that, now I, put, now I, now I just pay for the workouts and I do them. Cause now I know my way around the gym. I know how to do most movements. I know what muscle groups I'm working. I know when something's not right. You know what I'm saying? But I invested a lot of money into that. You also have to invest a lot of money into eating better. <laughs> like, I'm going to just keep it real with you guys. Listen, it, it, it's expensive to eat right. It is. I'm not going to say that it's not. Convenience food is always cheaper. That's why it's convenient. <laughs> it's bad for you too. But there are always way, there's always room in the budget. It may not be what you want to remove out your budget, but you can most of the time find ways to get it done. If you're always getting your nails done, if you always got your hair done, you got some money. Am I lying? I said, am I lying? <laughs> no, I'm not lying. We spend a lot of money on our, na on our nails, y'all. We spend a lot of money on our hair. You have room in the budget to eat better. So don't sit here and say that you don't. So those are some of the things that I did to make sure that I was consistent with my weight loss journey, my fitness journey. Another thing that I did, you guys, was I set an alarm. I work for myself, so it's really easy to just want to lay in bed all day because I set my own schedule. But what I decided to do was set an alarm so that I knew that at 6 o'clock in the morning, I had to get my ass up and hit that gym. And I don't I don't waver from my alarm. What do I mean by that? I get up at every day at six o'clock because if I take a day where I'm like, okay, you know, you know what? I'm gonna sleep till nine. Then it's gonna be harder the next day to get back on the 6 a.m. So I've just become accustomed to waking up at 6 a.m. every day. But this is, these are changes that I was willing to make because I wanted to lose weight and I wanted to be healthy. And I'm just telling you guys some of the tips that I did to make sure that I stayed consistent it's all about being consistent. If you're not consistent, you're not going to get anywhere. And like I said, I know I'm going to hurt some feelings with this, but I'm telling you all the truth. So don't be crying about you're not losing the weight that you want to lose. But yesterday you was at Chick-fil-A and this morning you went to McDonald's and got a breakfast sandwich. And you still drinking soda. We not, no, we're not doing that. We're going to hold ourselves accountable. We're going to be honest with ourselves. We're going to stop lying to ourselves. And another thing you can do, you guys, which is really, really, really important is to keep a food log because a lot of times we think we're eating less than what we really are. Or you think that, <laughs> you think that something doesn't have a whole bunch of fat in it, but it does. Okay. So I use my fitness pal. Now, once you get used to eating healthy, you kind of already know, like I, I'm good at eating the same thing every day. I'm one of those people, like, I don't get tired of the same food. <laughs> like, I've been eating overnight oats every day for the past, like, six months, and I still look forward to it every morning, and I have not changed up the fruit that I eat. None. Of it. It's the same exact meal every morning. But if you can't do that, you need to make sure that you're spending time researching different meals that you would enjoy to eat so that it's always enjoyable. Hold on. So it's always enjoyable. Nobody wants to eat stuff that's not good. So you have to find foods that you like, okay? It's going to take research. Like sometimes you may not even know that a certain dish can even be made a healthy way. You have to research it. Spend time trying to see, okay, well, I like Alfredo. How can I make a healthy version? Now, I don't know how to make a healthy version of Alfredo, but I'm just throwing it out there. You have to be willing to take time to figure out foods that you can eat that you're going to like. If you can find foods that you like, it's going to be easier to eat clean. Eat fruits that you enjoy. 
You get what I'm saying? Like, don't eat, don't eat watermelon if you don't like watermelon. I hate watermelon. That's why I'm saying that. Like, <laughs> you have to find stuff that you like. If you if you have a sweet tooth, you have to find something healthy that can fulfill your sweet tooth. So that way, you're not cheating, you're not feeling deprived, but you're still eating clean. Do you get what I'm saying? And you need to find activities in the gym that you enjoy. Maybe you don't really like going to the gym. I love weightlifting, so that's why it works for me. But maybe you like to play basketball. There's nothing wrong with that. Maybe you like to swim. Maybe you like to play soccer. Like whatever it is that you like to do, maybe you like to go on hikes. It doesn't have to necessarily be going to the gym. Just you need to find activities that you enjoy to do. And then you're never gonna feel like, oh, let me get my ass up and go do X, Y, Z. You get what I'm saying? You have to find stuff that you enjoy doing. If you like doing the Zumba classes, do the Zumba. Like, it's up to you, but you have to get active. Now, weightlifting is very beneficial to your heart and to your overall well-being. But at the end of the day, you also make sure that you're having fun with it. So if you are not into weightlifting, then I suggest finding other activities that you can do that will not make you feel like you're working out, even though you are. You know what I'm saying? So I hope that my tips have helped you. I really hope that you guys listen to what I have to say. And remember, I'm not trying to be harsh. I'm just trying to tell you the truth. It's about consistency. And I gave you guys quite a few tips that I've used that have worked that have kept me consistent in my journey. Okay. So you can't say that you don't know how to be consistent because I just told you. I just told you. I will see y'all next time. Bye.